Hey everyone, welcome to the Food Fluency video blog. Today I'm going to talk about taste buds. Um, at the past year or so, I've really made an effort to retry foods that I don't like. You know, we all have them, um, the foods that make us just blah. Um, in my case, I really wasn't sure if I didn't like the actual food or just how it had been prepared all my life. Um, so I've been trying it and, you know, I've been discovering things like, you know, asparagus really does taste good. Who knew? So I was trying a green pepper the other day. Those things are like the, made of, the bane of my existence. I just, I still don't like them, but I pointed out to my boyfriend that, you know, it tasted different on the different parts of my tongue. So, you know, maybe that had something to do with it. And he just looks at me and goes, you, you know that's a myth, right? No, I didn't know. I mean, that was not in my copy of lies my teacher told me. No. So I had to go look it up, as I do, and it turns out it should have been. <laughs> You know, we, I guess we have taste buds all over our mouth. There's some in the back, on top. It's, it's crazy. Um, you know, what is true is that they all pick up on, you know, the five different perceptions that we have going on. The salty, sour, bitter, sweet, and something called umami. Um, and that's a fancy word for savory, which is a fancy word for proteiny. Um, anyway, <laughs> according to Wikipedia, the whole tongue map mishap happened when a Harvard psychologist back in, well, I don't know when he made the mistranslation, but he translated a German paper back that was written in 1901. So, uh, yeah, he messed up and then we all had to pay for it. But it was actually the same guy that made the whole, you know, is it a young woman? Is it a old woman? Picture famous. And, you know, that's, that's pretty interesting and cool. So I'll forgive him. Mm. So anyway, all this talk about taste buds made me revisit something that I found out a few years ago and that I am a super taster. Woohoo! Uh, that doesn't mean I'm gonna wear a cape when I cook, you know, even though that might be fun. Um, <laughs> based on the number of taste buds that people have, um, they can be divided up into three groups. People with fewer taste buds than normal are called non-tasters. Um, people with an ordinary amount, well, I guess they're just called tasters. I don't think they have a special name. Um, and people like me, who have lots and lots and lots of taste buds, are called super tasters. Um, you can tell what you are just by examining your tongue. It's really easy, actually. Just do a Google search on super tasters, throw some food coloring in your mouth, and just compare. Um, you might also be able to tell from the food you like, or rather, what food you don't like. Super tasters tend to have problem with, you know, kind of bitter things like the more bitter vegetables, um, coffee, some alcohol, dark chocolate. Um, some of that's true for me. Some of it's not. So, yeah, whatever. I think I'm most like the guy in the uh, They Might Be Giants song, John Lee Super Taster. If you're my age, you, you may have heard of that. Uh, but yeah, he can't drink coffee, but he loves ice cream, and that's that's me to a T. Anyway, They Might Be Giants songs aside, I swear these are scientific terms. There's been lots of studies done. Um, you know, most interesting to me is that about 25% of the population are super tasters, and making up a majority of that 25 are um, women and Asians and Africans. So I don't know, maybe that's a reason for me to try some more Asian and African cuisine. Why not? That'd be cool. Um, yeah, super tasting, it's, it's also been described as kind of living in a neon taste world. So I guess that means I have Las Vegas in my mouth. <laughs> um, to some chefs, you know, this might be off-putting because, you know, everything's exaggerated, frankly. And what I taste isn't what they meant so it makes them kind of look bad because it's all distorted um, but to me like when I cook this just means that I have to work harder to make sure that all my flavors are spot on that easy anyway that's all I have to say about that um, if you found any of this interesting uh, check the foodfluency.com site for some taste bud related links and I'll catch you next time bye